All right, Nashville, it's time for the playoffs. Your Nashville Predators, year one, GM superb man, managed to help get them back into the show. Can we win our franchise's first Stanley Cup? It's a big, it's a big day. It's a big day. Winnipeg Jets, round number one. We have all of the Twitch fans in here. We've already prepared. We've gone over our strategies, what we can do. Can we have a magical playoff run in year number one? So the story of your Nashville Predators for this season, Jim Superman listened to the fans, and it seemed like everyone wanted to go on a, a two-year cup run. Like our window is one to two years, given the fact that we have an aging team. So... Over the course of the year, I acquired Boone Jenner somewhere around December, I think it was, and Phil Kessel at the trade deadline. Unfortunately, we couldn't go out there and make that big-time trade like a Nino Niederreiter flipping him for like a Patrick Kane, somehow getting Chicago to retain 50%, trading Nino Niederreiter and maybe like a, a Colton Sissons to free up the cap space, along with three first-round picks. I didn't want to do that because then it's truly all or nothing. I mean, uh, Patrick Kane might leave to free agency after that, and then what are we left with? No first-round picks for the first three years, and making the playoffs wasn't even a guarantee. So we kept the team together, and I made two minor acquisitions, uh, turning Cody Glass into Boone Jenner. And then who did we replace with Phil Kessel? Was it Sherwood? Some fourth liner who was like 79 overall. So updating or upgrading the forward core. And defensively, this is our strong point. Roman Yossi, Echo, McDonough, Fabro. Borowicki is a little bit weak down here, but I'm hoping that with a good offense, we can score some goals. And then UC Soros, my man, please. I have been plagued in the past with poor goaltending in the playoffs. And uh, the thing I don't like about UC, he didn't have a great regular season. Uh, only a 905 save percentage, 36, 25, and 3. Now, our head coach is not great for penalty killing. It's not great for 5-on-5 five -five defense. It is great for scoring goals. So we're just going to have to be uh, a team that outscores our opponents. Now, I know that sounds pretty straightforward, right? But... The point is, we got to try to win like the 5-4 game rather than the 2-1 game. I don't think we're that kind of team. We're the kind of team that just needs to go out there and count on our offense to win. So there it is. We've already gone through the changes. I, I figured we can make some moves like Tomasino up to the second line, uh, Phil Kessel to the third line of the second line. But I want to make sure my greatest overall players are getting the most ice time. So the way the lines are set right now, it's fine. And also in the AHL, um, they are in the playoffs, but we can always bring up Joaquin Kemmel, uh, 78 overall, medium elite guy playing in the AHL. He had a pretty good season, 14 goals, 31 assists, and 71 games played. You know, if we're down 2 nothing in the series or 3 nothing in the series, we have nothing else to lose. You could throw him out there, maybe some rookie, uh, some rookie energy, but also Shea Weber. That is my ace in the hole. If we're ever down, elimination, down by two games, down by three games, a 3 nothing series lead, a 3-1 series lead, I'm bringing Shea Weber back, and he's going to just try to, to spark the boys in the NHL. 70 overall, I know you're thinking, what the hell, that's a stupid move. If you ever watch my Toronto Maple Leafs GM mode, crazy shit can happen. <laughs> All right, so Winnipeg in round number one. Let's take a look at the Winnipeg Jets and see what we're going up against here, okay? Unfortunately, we can't take a look at their, their chemistry, but this first line has got to be a plus five. They have three X-Factor players on the first line. Kyle Connor, 90 overall. Mark Shifley, 89 overall, and Nikolai Ehlers, 86 overall. Now, what's their combo? Playmaker, Shifley playmaker, Kyle Connor sniper? Yeah, he's a sniper. Used to be a two-way forward. He's now a sniper. Holy crap. What kind of points did they have? Uh, 30 goals. All right, minus 11. Not great during the regular season. I don't know if this line stayed together over the course of the whole year. Only a plus three, 72 points. They can certainly score, but can they keep the puck out of the net? I wonder if their blue line's looking good. Minus three. Their first line wasn't good when it comes to five-on-five -five hockey. Second line, they got Ryan Hartman, uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois, and uh, Blake Wheeler. So, playmaker. Oh man, Blake Wheeler's a playmaker. Power forward. And Hartman two-way forward? Yeah. So, Dubois, what kind of regular season did he have? 47 points minus eight. They're really not that good. They're letting in a lot. Minus 15. So, this is actually seeming to be a pretty good matchup for us. Their bottom six isn't great as well. Nothing to write home about. Uh, defensively, Schmidt and Pionk. Okay, so here's where I see their weakness. Pionk is good, but he's an offensive defenseman. So he's going to help you keep the puck, or he's going to help you score the uh, score the puck, but not keep it out of the net. Although he was a plus 16. Interesting. And his partner, Nate Schmidt, 83 overall. They actually played pretty good. Wow, Nate Schmidt with minus 10. They must have been mixing and matching over the course of the year. 
How was Pionk up there? Morrissey, 86. Morrissey is on the second line. Maybe Morrissey was playing with Pionk because they seem to have the same kind of plus minus. And then they, for some reason, did a line change. Goligoski, Dylan, and DeMello. So, you know, other than their first line, the rest of their team ain't great. The second line's pretty good as well. They have, like, a, a lot of good forwards. But that second line, I mean, sorry, that, uh, that, uh, that blue line, not looking great. Although Dylan and Goligoski, not bad. Our blue line's a little bit weak as well. And then goaltenders, Riddich and uh, Connor Hellebuck is going to be in the net. 90 overall with all those X-Factors. Damn, Hellebuck was 32 and 32 over the year with a 908 save percentage. So basically, the same as like a UC Soros. Really did not have a great season. Injuries? Injuries? What do you mean he had injuries? He started 70 games played. Didn't look like he was injured. Check the injuries. All right, this is why we have the Twitch chat. They can help me uh, find things that I forgot about. Injury report. So let's take a look at the Winnipeg Jets and see if they have anyone. We have a clean bill of health, so we look good. And if we take a look at the Winnipeg Jets here, no, they're good as well. So both teams are starting at least game number one at full strength. No excuses, no nothing. So I think we're ready to go. You know the storyline. 25 years of Nashville failure, right? And especially ever since they made the cup in, what was it, 15 or 16? One of those years, it's just been playoff uh, uh, failure after failure after failure. And now for like the last four years, maybe five, they've lost in the first round. Or they keep losing in overtime. So can GM Superman, with the minor changes that he made, help get this team over the hump? Are we ready to go? Give me the green light, Twitch. All right, and for gameplay, I will be bringing back up the Twitch chat. We good to go? Green light. All right, they are showing me the green light. So let's simulate up to this day. Um, I don't think I showed you guys. Did I show you guys the, uh, the the playoff tree in the last video? I can't remember if I did. So in case I didn't, just show you guys the playoff tree. You got Nashville versus Winnipeg, St. Louis versus L.A., Vancouver versus Anaheim, and Calgary versus Colorado. In the east, you got Columbus, the team that we traded for Boone Jenner. Let's see how they do. Maybe it wasn't that bad of a trade. Columbus versus Carolina, Pittsburgh versus Washington. That's a good old-fashioned Ovechkin versus Crosby. Oh, Toronto versus Boston. How much do you want to bet Boston wins in seven? And then Florida versus the Rangers, all right? But I don't care about any of that. I only care about my team. So I've done enough vamping. I've done enough delaying. I'm so terrified because if we lose in four games, it's going to feel like shit. Come on, let's just get off to a good start. Show me that we deserve to be here in the playoffs. 46, 32, and 4. It looks like what do we have. Yeah, we have home ice advantage. Let's start it up, ladies and gentlemen. The Twitch chat is engaged. Game number one in Nashville. What will the Predators bring? So we're going to go real-time simulation for all the periods here. We've got to do it. Come on now, Nashville. Start this series off the right way on front of your fans. Power play. Four on three power play for Winnipeg. What the hell happened there? There must have been like a roughing call off of something bad. <laughs> oh my god. And there it is. Eli Tolvanen opens up the goal scoring for the Nashville Predators along with Matthias Ekholm. 2-0 lead after the first period. So this is what I'm talking about, right? The goal scoring for Nashville. We've got to rely on that. Five on three power play. Five on three power play. Get the second line power play out there. Get Phil. Come on, boys. So even though um, I'm counting on the offense, now that we have that 2-0 lead, oh, penalty kill, penalty kill. UC Soros, my man. You want to hold on? You want to do something for me? Five minutes left. Another power play for the Nashville Predators. Goes nowhere. But a 2-0 lead remains. So UC Soros doing his job. And that first line for Winnipeg, nothing so far. Fairly quiet. Shots 22-16 in favor of Nashville. Third period, game number one. This would be a perfect way to start off our playoff run. Just get out ahead. Oh, but Kyle Connor, there's the first line. They wake up a little bit. Scoring from the left wing. Don't know what kind of shot that was. We're out shooting them. We have the lead. Just hold on, UC. Eight minutes left. I don't want to go to overtime. I don't want to go to overtime. Game number one. Kyle Connor. Yes! Ryan Johansson. He gets the go-ahead goal with four minutes to go. Hold on, Nashville. Hold on, Nashville. And the Predators are going to take game number one. Let's go, Ryan Johansson. Saved our lives. Kyle Connor scoring two goals in the third period. Thank God. All right, so... Now let me turn off the Twitch chat just because I want to show you guys some stats. We have to get ahead of this. Who is the minus players on our team? I want to know what lines aren't doing good. Tolvanen, Forsberg, Duchesne. So the first line, first line's going up against their first line. I'm not going to get angry with them. And Carrier and Borowicki. Interesting. Goaltenders, 920 save percentage. Soros, way to go, Soros. Way to go, buddy. All right, so there's really nothing much to do there. That was a successful game. Uh, and we actually kept the puck out of the net. So I'm thinking... 
uh, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I'm thinking Winnipeg might be a real good matchup for us. They didn't have a great regular season, and other than that first line, you know, and maybe Roman Yossi matches up really well against them, shuts them down. He is 93 overall, after all. The best player in this series is Roman Yossi. All right, so here we go again. Game number two, still in Nashville. Real-time simulation. Let's start it up. Times eight, baby. <sighs> I gotta just take my time with this. I'm already getting too excited. It's early. It's early. We could have we could have two, three, four rounds. Hopefully, I just gotta calm it down. Early power play for Winnipeg goes nowhere. Five minutes left here in the first period. Nashville's doing a good job keeping the puck out of the net. Although we don't get any goals as well, I'll take that. I'll take that. A first period zero zero. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. All right, if our team is keeping the puck out of the net, I will be very happy because at any moment Phil Kessel could just jump in with a goal. Boone Jenner, Ryan Johansson, Roman Yossi. Come on, boys, somebody. Philip Forsberg, the name I didn't mention. First line left wing, but the second line center of the Winnipeg Jets ties it up almost immediately, two minutes later. And we got a 1-1 tie going into the third period. So game one was decided by one goal. Game two might be decided by one goal as well. These two teams simulating very closely. We got to get luck. We got to get lucky here. Get this win. Power play. Please, please, please. It's a long one. Please, somebody score. Damn it. Penalty kill now. Soros and the penalty killers do a good job. Eight minutes to go. Nate Schmidt, 83 overall. First line. He actually scores. Four minutes. Ah, it's going to go the way of the Jets. They get another two goals in the third period. Not good, Nashville. Not good at all. So, if we're an offensive team, one goal, four. That's not going to do it. And the second game in a row, we've allowed two goals in the third period, man. Mm -mm -mm. I don't like that. I don't like that. Ah, damn it, man. Damn it. Minus two for Roman Yo. Ooh, Roman Yossi, Granny Smith. The second line forward core and the first line. Now, what do you guys think about this? Can I take a look at there? No, I can't take a look at them. I think I'll be okay for right now. It's a 1-1 series tie. That was a close game. All right, so they split one on the road. Now we just got to do the exact same thing. We got to win either games three or four, turn it into a best of uh, best of three. All right. <sighs> is there anything? Am I forgetting anything, boys? Bring in Weber? No, not yet. By the way, the AHL is down there also playing. I want to leave these guys because we have our youngins playing down there, like Askarov in the net, all that good stuff. I'm getting hot, man. Oh, my God. I'm getting, hot. I'm getting nervous, dude. This is ridiculous. It's game three. Relax. All right. Game number three, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring it back. Here we go. We're north of the border in Winnipeg. Come on, let's show these Canadians what we're made of. An early power play for the Jets. What the hell are we doing starting off that way, you stupid idiots? Granny Smith, the Apple Master, scores from, from way out there at the blue line. Nice job. Probably just looking for a wrist shot to get deflected or something. And it was a seeing eye puck and the goalie didn't see it. Nice job. Nate Schmidt again, Nate fucking Schmidt. I always make fun of this guy for wearing number 88. I'm like, who the hell is he? Well, he's playing like it now, isn't he? He's scoring freaking goals left and right. My God. All right, so a 1-1 tie after the first period again. So it's always tied after the first the second period as well. And then the third period, they just unload. Five on three for Nashville. Come on. My power play is not doing much, is it? Five on four. There it is. Power play goal. Speak of the devil, he shall appear. I ask for a power play goal, and Granny Smith gets his second of the game. Nice job. Penalty kill. Hold on to that lead. Hold on to that lead. Hold on to that lead. All right. So we have the 2-1 lead going into the third period. Now, this is game three. Games one and two, they score two goals in the third period both times. If they do it again, they win three to two. Soros, I need you, but we also need some insurance. All right, I called us an offensive team. Don't all of a sudden turn into a defensive team in the playoffs. I need goals. We need four in this game, all right? Even before the empty netter, I want four. I want four. I want two in this period before the empty net. Come on now, Nashville. And we take a penalty. Holy shit. Killed it off, though. Good job, boys. 13 minutes left. 10 minutes left. Hold on, Soros. I don't think I'm getting the offense. Kyle Connor for the second time in three games. Ties the game up in the third. Holy shit. I just can't hold on in the third. We, 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 again! Two goals against in the third period and they get an empty netter. I knew it. What are we doing? What are we doing in the third? Holy shit. Shit, man, this game was ours for the taking. We had a 2-1 lead with eight minutes or nine minutes left. They tie it up, and with 102, they take the lead. Come on. Oh, 
no, it's not gonna go our way, is it? Now, do I need to get reactive? Do I need to start making changes? What do we got? We got some minus twos out there. Minus two. Kessel fucking fourth line, you cookie monster bitch. What do we do? What do we do? Power play, pow uh, penalty kills hurting you. Power play is hurting you. What did you say? We go to edit lines. What do we got? Bring in Weber. No, no, it's only two to one. And we've been in the game each game. It's been like a one goal game. I know that was a two goal because of the empty net. Let's see. Forsberg is a minus two. Jesus, man. Where's the offense? Duchesne doesn't have a fucking point. What the hell? Polvin in the first line's not doing much. Minus one, second line not doing much. Third line not doing much. Fourth line not. Okay, we got we got to we got to change it up. Phil, Phil, you've been a playoff performer in the past. I got got to get you. I got to get you going. I got to yeah, I got to get you going. Phil, you're moving up to the first line. Tolvanen, maybe we get some depth now. Need a rider. You're being switched out and need a rider right there. There you go. All right, Janelle's going down to the fourth line. I'm moving Phil up. Tolvanen to give that second line some juice and then need a rider to the third line. We have to change it around. Move the second. Leave the second line. The second line was minus one. Man, only one goal. One and three. You know what? Maybe you got a point. All right. If I leave Nino Ryder there, get Tolvanen down on the third line to give them even more of a boost on the depth with Tomasino and Jenner. All right. I'll listen to you. We'll try Nino Ryder on that second line. Uh, defensively, Ekholm was a minus three with Yossi, minus two. Fabro's a minus one. McDonough, zero. Borowicki, a minus two. The whole team's just getting beat five on five. Ah, oh, Saros. He's just, he's giving us an all right playoff run. He's not completely shitting the bed, but holy crap, man. Shut down a third period. Shut down the third period. Power play was 1 for 11, John. My power play is only 1 for 11. All right. Power play. What can we do? I mean, I got the plus 5 in there. Tomasino, Duchesne. Uh, maybe take out Tomasino and put Ryan Johansson in there. Another playmaker. Still get the plus 5. I'm going to take out uh, you for Tomasino. Tomasino. There you go. There you go. It's only minus 1 now. But Ryan Johansson, Duchesne, Tolvanen, Forsberg, and Roman Yossi. Yeah, I mean, it's good. It should be creating some offense there. Get Phil in there. Where, who would I take him out for? Tolvanen? Tolvanen's got to go. I don't want to take Phil out for Tolvanen. No, no. Phil on the second line power play is good. You, you need two power plays. I don't want to just shake up everything. We've been playing pretty good, yeah. All right, so Phil to the first line. Tolvanen to the third line. Let's see if that veteran move up to the first and the rookie down to the third makes any difference. Our backs are against the wall now, ladies and gents. We are down 2-1 to one in the series up against the Winnipeg Jets. If we lose this one, we're down 3-1. to one. I think we got to go for the ace in the hole. We have to. Uh, we've thrown two games in the third period. We could have we could have a 3 nothing series lead right now. Oh, my God. It's so frustrating. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't miss this. Come on, boys. I loaded up on the trade deadline. You got to help me out. You got to help me out. Boone Jenner, Phil Kessel, show up. All right, so Phil's on the first line now. Let's see what we can do in Winnipeg. Down two to one. Game number four. We need this one, or I don't think we're coming back. It's going to be a quick playoff stream, boys. Ten minutes in, neither team has scored. We only have three shots on target. Come on, get some more. Ten to five are the shots. There you go. We caught up a little bit. Power play at the end of the first. Get to the end. Get to the end. All right, we got there. Not scoring goals, man. We just can't find a way. Maybe it's Connor Hellebuck. You know, he's just standing on his head. Can't do a damn thing right now. Second period. Underway. Oh, man, it's so weird hitting these buttons again. I don't want to accidentally skip the period. Here we go. Second underway. Where's my offense? Power play. Five on three power play. I just changed it. You guys are right. Our power play is god awful. I don't know what it is. We have so many X factors on the power play. Nino need a rider. The second line power play gets it done. The power play shapes up. All right. So we got a power play goal right there. Oh, no. Not again. Not again. Not again, boys. We're up by one going into the third period. If they get two goals, they're going to beat us by one. It's the same pattern that keeps on happening. We need to get to three goals, man. We need the two goals in the third. Or you see Farkin Soros just Farkin make some saves and Farkin help me out, man. Please. I don't want to go down three to one. I don't want to go down three to one. I don't want to do it. Third period underway. Please. Please, you see. Please, you see, make it a series at least. Give us something to cheer for. <laughs> Pierre-Luc Dubois scores on the power play, and Winnipeg ties it up in the third period again. Oh, Kyle Connor, you son of a bitch. Why? Constantly. Two goals in the third one more time, and what do you know? What do you say? The Nashville Predators are throwing their cup chances away. 
Oh my god. It's not even my fault. This team is cursed. I, I, I we, we, it's the third game in, in four. Third game in four. We've blown it in the third period by giving up two goals. And we can't score! Oh my god. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Just like that. Nashville stats, Winnipeg stats. Let's take a look. I'm gonna have to shake it up. What did Phil do? We weren't even minuses. Were they both power play goals? It, it wasn't even a minus. Goaltenders, Soros, 939. I mean, Soros, you can't even blame Soros in this series. I mean, you could say the two goals in the third, but where's our offense? Like, no one's scoring. No one's helped me out with any farkin' offense, man. All right. It's, uh, we need, we need some leadership. This was, this is how it was always gonna go. This is how it was gonna be. Time for me to completely shit the bed with decision making, but this is GM Superb, man, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to do it. Roster move. I got to do it. I got to do it. Defenseman down there. Shea Weber, get your ass up here for Vatanen. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Cannot believe I'm doing this. And we need we need some offense. Kemmel, what were you doing down there? Did you Were you able to do anything? Three games played, no goals. No, I don't need another guy not scoring goals. It's just going to be Shea Weber. All right? We just need a push. We need somebody in the locker room. We need some Like Roman Yossi, I guess he's not a leader because he's not leading. He's not leading by example at all. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this the AHL? So I just got to get someone in for Weber. Okay, hang on a sec. Put Vatnin in, right? Yeah, there it is. That should take care of everything. Now go back to the NHL. All right, so Borowicki is out. Jumbo Joe. I'm not bringing up Joe Thornton. Get out of here. I'm not bringing up Jumbo friggin' no. We're not doing that. It's only Shea Weber, all right? He's the guy. Shea, all those years in Nashville... Damn, he had a lot of years in Montreal. But look at this. All those years in Nashville, you were the captain. You were the leader. Your team needs you. You're down 3-1. to one. I know when you were in your prime, you didn't have any support. You didn't have any help. But we need it now, Shea. We need it in the worst way. Uh, power play. Should Shea Weber be on the power play instead of McDonough? That's a dumb move. But the Weber bomb. The Weber bomb. I need it. Shea, get in there, buddy. Get in there. Penalty kill. I'm not going to use him on the penalty kill, though. Roman Yossi McDonough. At home, Fabro. Yeah, he'll be on the third line penalty kill. All right, extra lines, goaltenders. You see, I'm going to need you to steal a game or two here just to force a game seven. And what about Phil on the first line? No, I'm going to go back with... Uh, we got the win with Tolvanen on the first line. All right, Nino Nita Ryder. He got the power play goal. I'm going to move Phil up to the... No, you know what? Phil on the third line with Tomasino. There you go. We'll give Phil some depth. All right, we're going to go down. We're going to go down swing with the, the line that got us here. All right, Phil's in there. And Jenner are in there for the third line to bolster them. We need our guys like Forsberg, Roman Yossi, Duchesne, Johansson. We need the veterans on this team to start scoring some goals. It's as simple as that. It is as simple as that. And Shea Weber, good luck, my man. Oh, GM Superb, man, after four games is already desperate. Here I'm thinking it's going to be a freaking nice stream. Nope. <laughs> nope. So we're on front of our home fans, down by three, game number five, and we're already facing elimination. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Shea Weber back in the lineup. Can we have a game? No, what's scary is we're actually due for a game where we get smoked, but we're also due for a game where we smoke them. It's been close every single time. In Nashville, early power play for the Winnipeg Jets, and they're going to score. Come on, man. How are they going to get a power play goal? The Another power play? Come on, you idiots. Can someone score a goal for me? Don't make it be a one nothing game at the end of the first. Get us back in it somehow, some way. Three, two, one. Oh, my God. All right, all right. Relax, relax, relax. They had 10 shots. We had six. Chances are you're going to get at least one goal. You got to keep the puck out of the net. We're not going to get shut out in elimination game, all right? Is this what you Predator fans have to deal with year to year to year? You keep on thinking you got a good team, then the playoffs come around, you just shit the freaking bed? Good lord. All right, come on, come on, come on. Second period. I need offense. I need someone to step up. Shea Weber, get out there and tell the boys what to do. Get out there. Pierre-Luc Dubois opens up the, like just like the first period. An early fucking go. It's over. It's over. Shea Weber wasn't enough, ladies and gentlemen. Down by three, halfway through the game. Eli Tolvanen gets us back within two. Power play for Nashville. Can we get back within one? No. It's going to be a wild game. Where's our goal scoring? It's hard to think that we're going to score two more goals on Connor Hellebuck in the third period. Tolvanen. 
Oh, it's not good, boys. It's not good. Third period is going to be the last period. We're not going to get two goals on Hel- Connor Hellebuck. Game, give me something, all right? In my three losses to them, they were able to score two goals in each one of the third periods. Can I get one now? I deserve it. I freaking deserve it. If you guys aren't going to do it for me, do it for the great predators on the past, like Pekka Rene, Shea Weber's out there, all right? Ryan Ellis, do it for these. David Leguan, Mike Fisher, do it for these guys, please. Third period, underway. We need an early one. We need to be able to make this a game. Please. Oh, Dante Fabro gets us back within one. It's a 3-2 game. Can the Nashville Predators force game six? Power play. Five on three. What are you fucking idiots doing? Phil! Phil! The cookie monster ties it up. It is a 3-3 game. Oh, Chanel! Chanel! Good job, buddy. Hold on now. Hold on, you pieces of shit. For Shea Weber. Hold on. Two minutes. One minute. Ah, oh, you sons of bitches. You couldn't just do it for the fourth time. Time they tie it in the third. Oh, <laughs> it's not fair. It is not fair, man. Oh, Jesus. All that to be down three to one. Now the game's gonna troll me by sending to overtime just to lose an OT. All right, here we go. Let's jump in. So here we go. Overtime, ladies and gentlemen. It's coach mode, so I do have something of control. Can the Nashville Predators force a game six? Roman Yossi. Roman Yossi trying to skate into the inside. So we have regular tuners. It's on Superstar. 20 minutes. Hopefully our boys don't take any penalties. We get a chance. Go, 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 go. Who is this? I don't know who. Is that Duchesne? Duchesne in the middle. Tolvanen. What a save by Connor Hellebuck. Duchesne walks out. Tolvanen again. Blocked in front. Damn, Connor Hellebuck making saves, man. Here come the Jets the other way. Ehlers, nice job, boys. Nice job. Should I go for a line change? No. I'm just going to let them play. We need stoppages in time for line changes. I'm not doing anything stupid. Across the outside. Oh, my God. Somebody going to step up for that man? He just got crushed. I should put the player names on the bottom. Ehlers in short side off the post. Season on the line, man. Season on the line. Roman Yossi up to Philip Forsberg. Forsberg, oh, across the red line, across the blue line. He finds his line mate. <gasps> Granny Smith! Oh, what a save by Connor Hellebuck again. Dude, Granny Smith just sniped that. If that was Phil, you know it would have gone on. He gone in into the middle, Shifley. Granny Smith, all right, all right. The second line's out there. Okay, so he's already changing it for me. Good. Ryan Johansson off the left wing, leaving it there for Granny Smith. The pass just hit somebody. That would have been a nice play. Here come the Jets, though. Ehlers, he's got that wrister. He's looking for it. Body check. Yes. Nice job. Our captain, Roman Yossi, off the body check on the left side. In the middle. Oh, he's trying to find the, the, the follow-up. Granny Smith again. Nice save. Or nice block in front by Josh Morrissey. Oh, I don't want to go for a manual line change. Wheeler. Oh, shot. Oh, no, no, no. Pick it up. Need a rider. All right, just, just take the puck. There you go. All right, Phil. Phil. Shea Weber. Defensive zone faceoff. I need Shea Weber out there, ladies and gentlemen. Phil's line. All right, with Boone Jenner to win that faceoff. And then Shea Weber. He's out there. Hopefully no one's taking his number. Number six, Shea Weber. I can see him back there. Come on, Shea. You can do this, bud. I believe in you. I believe in you, Shea. Oh. Tomasino, Phil, go buddy, go Phil, that's a trip, that's a fucking trip, Phil draws the penalty, he ties the game up in the third and he draws the penalty, nice job, Phil and Shea, nice job, alright, power play, <gasps> timeout, timeout, I gotta, yeah, this is the, this is the win, I gotta call a timeout right now, manage teams, uh, call timeout, call a freaking timeout right now, yep, 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 get the, uh, oh, they had the second line power play out there, that's alright, that's alright, I'll make the change, all right, so both lines are fresh. What can we do? Face off. One by Lowry, you son of a bitch. All right, change it up. First line power play. I'll send my defenseman back. Don't worry. We'll be safe. Phil Kessel. <laughs> Kessel's on the, the, the point. Oh, no. Phil up to Matt Duchesne. Over to Shea Weber. Here we go, Shea. Shea with a horrible pass, but that's all right. Oh, come on, guys. Get it in the zone. Johansson. In the middle! Shea! That was Shea! Shea Weber, come on, man! Shea Weber took the slap shot point blank, and he couldn't score the Weber bomb. It would have been perfect! It would have been a perfect storyline. That's all right, all right. Face-off win. Johansson, you can do this. You can beat Lowry. Face-off. Lowry's dominating the face-off dot, dude. He is dominating it. Dude, I got Phil and Shea Weber on my point. I'm going to give up a shorthanded goal. I have to. This is brutal. Go. Nice pass. Nice pass. Tolvanen. On the right wing, looking. Uh, he loses the puck. Outside, Duchesne, man. Connor Hellebuck is unbeatable. I got to switch up the lines. Yeah, you got to keep them fresh. Sorry, Shea. You had a good run, but I got to I gotta keep the... I got to get Roman Yossi out there. Dude, Connor Hellebuck is single-handedly making... Uh, keeping this game going. 
One minute 24 on the power play. Plenty of time. Granny Smith back to Yossi. Need a Holy crap, Connor Hellebuck. Why couldn't you do this for me when you were a member of the Toronto Maple Leafs? Dear Lord, now he's playing like Darth Vader in the playoffs. <sighs> what a save, dude. Are you telling me? 120 left. All right, we only missed four seconds on that to get a shot. Oh, Lowry is dominating the faceoff dot. What the hell? I need like Boone Jenner to take faceoffs or something. Roman Yossi, he's got the puck. He's skating back with it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't like that. There you go. Find Forsberg. Over to Granny Smith. One minute left in the power play. Come on. You telling me they're going to kill one off around the outside? Granny Smith walking in. Thomas No. Oh, nice try. Need a rider. Five hole. Another save by Hellebuck. He can't be stopped. Forsberg. Come on, my man. Do something with Roman Yossi. We can't get anything in there. Granny Smith. Over to Tomasino. Tomasino cutting back. Tomasino. Oh, no. He just hit one of our players in the neck. Nice shot. Yossi. Granny. Ah! Come on, boys. Granny Smith. Oh, he just got wrecked at Granny Smith. All right, switching it up. I can't change the defensive lines yet. That would be a bad idea. Uh, change the defensive lines now. Oh, no, no. Don't change them now. Don't change them now. You idiots. Lowry in. Oh, my God. How do they turn it over? How do you turn it over like that? I went for the change. We had a three-on-two rush on the power play. How do you fuck that up that bad? Weber. Oh, Jesus. Don't go for line changes, John. You idiot. Duchesne. Duchesne. <gasps> Tolvanen. Hellebuck, another save. How is he doing this? Boone Jenner in. Oh, is the penalty? Is it another penalty? Ref's got his hand up. Duchesne, back to Weber. Weber to Kessel. Kessel. Kessel looking. Kessel can't find. Is that another penalty? They might have just taken another one. It's like I saw Kessel got his seven-minute power play. What did the one guy do? Stenland is a, is a menace. He got a five-minute major and then a two-minute... He's gone. He's fucking out of here. Stenland is gone. If we can't score on a seven-minute power play, good lord. Nashville, they're just handing it to us. Please. There's nine minutes of power plays we got going here. They got to be dead tired. Forsberg, nice catch, buddy. Roman Yossi. Connor Hellebuck is stopping everything. He can't, he can't stop seven minutes of power play. No way. No way, no how. Tomasino. Need a rider. Oh, my God. Blocked in front. Keep getting that shot blocked. All right, all right, all right. Which was on trap. I, I, I'm going to push. I'm going to tell him to push. Full four check. Let's go. Need a rider. In. Oh, God. Man, Hellebuck making saves. Granny Smith. Need a rider. Back to the point. Yossi. Nice save again by Hellebuck. In the middle. Granny. Oh, my God. What the fuck? He's making saves left and right. This is un unbelievable. My God, man. Yossi turning around. Oh, geez, what a horrible pass that was. All right, guys, calm it down. Calm penalty. Oh, I thought that might go over the glass. Jesus, that was close. All right, I want to change the lines, but last time I did that. Oh, my God, Roman Yossi, not like a shorthanded goal on a seven-minute power play, and the Jets win. Roman Yossi, our best player, turns it over. Oh my god, not like this. And again, the Nashville Predators lose in the first round in overtime. It continues. <laughs> no! <laughs> How does that happen? Connor Hellebuck's robbing us and UC Sorrow. I, I can't even blame UC. It's got to be Roman Yossi. How did you not get that puck out? I can't. It's season's over. I can't believe it. The season's over. I'm in shock. It's over. All those moves just to get beat in overtime again. Of course, even GM Superb Man couldn't turn the tables of the Nashville Predators' recent playoff woes. We talked about a one, two year window, but this team might just be cursed. It couldn't have gone any better for us in the simulation when you think about it, right? We got the first win. We went up one nothing in the series. We won the first game, right? Yeah, we won the first game and it was three to two. Second game, we had a one nothing lead going into the third period. We gave up two. Now it kind of sucks. You can blame our goaltender, you can blame our D. No goals though. No goals, no help in the third period. Then game number three, again, what would we have? Like a 2-1 lead in the third period. They score two and get the empty netter. The next one, we had a 1-0 lead going into the third period, and they score two. I mean, good lord. You can blame you can blame the D, you can blame the goalie, but I'm blaming the offense, man. I am. That's four goals in three games played right there. And then we finally get the four before the end of regulation. We get the simulation to give us power plays up the butt. 
only to get a shorthanded goal against. Unbelievable. From our best defenseman, Roman freaking Yossi. Attribute effect, I guess, has nothing to say. So the streak of losing in the, like, the first round in overtime continues for the Nashville Predators. All right, well, we might as well just continue the simulation, get it up to the NHL draft, and so you guys can uh, take a look at our roster and we can figure out what we want to do. All right, so let's advance the day. Let's just get up there. We'll take it slowly, one year at a time. Check the AHL. Hey, there's the AHL. Good job, boys. Like, I give a shit. There you go. And the AHL is done as well. They didn't have leadership from Shea Weber. The game, the game just tempts me. A power play. Did you guys see that Shea Weber, Weber bomb slap shot in the slot? That would have been perfect if it went in. That might have been Shea Weber's last moment in the NHL. And it just fucking saves it. Connor Hellebuck just, no, no, that ain't happening. Oh, my God. All right, so let's see what happened in the first round here. Damn, dude. Damn. All right, so we get beaten five games. St. Louis beats L.A. in six. Vancouver over Anaheim in seven. Oh, wow, the defending Stanley Cup champion Colorado Avalanche have been defeated by the Calgary Flames. In the east, uh, uh, Columbus defeats Carolina. Columbus. Pittsburgh sweeps Washington. Oh, yeah, there you go. Another first-round exit for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Couldn't even get it to seven this time. Not that I can fucking brag because I lost the exact same way in five games. Uh, Florida defeats the Rangers in seven games. So there are your Elite Eight, ladies and gentlemen. So let's continue the simulation. You know, before we continue the freaking simulation, let me just see something. Let me just see fucking something. I'm sorry for swearing. I can't handle it. Can't help it right now. I'm pissed. I'm freaking pissed. Brian Johansson. All these points came in the last game. Garbage. 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 Phil Kessel, the best player. Two points in five games played. Uh, and that plus. Like, we were all minuses, dude. Our power play sucked, and we just got beat in 5v5 in the third period. So frustrating. Matt Duchesne, one point. Oh, my God. The first line did nothing for us, man. Absolutely nothing. Un-fucking-real. I mean, he did everything he could. He comes in here, and he's leading in points for defensemen in one freaking game. Shea Weber, I'm sorry. I should have started you from game number one, man. This team is cursed. Shea Weber did everything he could. He was a plus two with two points in one game's played. If that's Shea Weber's last game, if he retires, then at least he got to play on front of his home fans once again and... Got to be able to produce, and it was a wild game. If you're watching that, it was great. And goaltenders, UC Sarge, you know, I mean, it's not horrible. It's not horrible, but it's not great. He didn't steal any games for us, you know. He didn't steal a single game for us. Maybe game number one, you could say he played well. But it was constantly letting goals in in the third period, you know. Con like, look what Connor Hellebuck did to us. In fact, let's take a look at that. Connor Hellebuck, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You couldn't do that for me once when I had you in Toronto. You stupid, stupid bastard you 932 save percentage four and what my god my god all right well let's continue the simulation and see what happens here in the playoffs i'll just uh, i'm not going to take it game by game we'll simulate nice and quickly when it gets to like four games then i'll start to slow it down a little bit all right so 3-1 for st louis 3-1 for vancouver 2-2 for pittsburgh and columbus and 3-1 for florida See what we got. Advanced day. 4 1. So Vancouver and St. Louis get through. Florida gets through. What about Columbus versus Pittsburgh? I think Columbus got through. Oh, no. Never mind. That was just my own. Game seven. Pittsburgh versus Columbus. Johnny Goudreau with Patrick Line. Let's see what happens. Advance the day. It's Vancouver versus St. Louis and Pittsburgh. Crosby going for one last cup, possibly. Pittsburgh versus Florida and Vancouver versus. Uh, St. Louis. So let's advance the days again. Let's get in there. Let's see what happens. Also, when we get to the Stanley Cup Finals, I'll take a look at each team, see what their rosters look like, and maybe we can replicate what they have and come back stronger for year number two. We got to come back stronger for year two. I got to improve the team. We need goal scorers, man. We need goal scorers. That is unacceptable. I know we went up against a good goalie, but holy Christ, that was terrible. And it's going to be St. Louis versus Pittsburgh in the finals. So, sorry to Florida. Sorry to Vancouver. We got, uh, this is actually pretty good. Two teams that won in the 2010s. 2019 for uh, St. Louis. And when would the Pittsburgh Penguins win? Was it 15-16 or 16-17? I always forget those. The Washington-Pittsburgh years, I always forget who won where. Didn't St. Louis beat Pittsburgh? No, St. Louis beat Boston in 2019. They won 15-17. to 17. There you go. Okay. So both teams looking for another cup. Uh, let's take a look at their line, shall we? 
see why they made it to the finals and I did not. Anaheim. All right, so St. Louis Blues. Buchnevich, O'Reilly, Tarasenko. They definitely have the plus five. Shen, Thomas, Kairu. They brought, definitely have like a plus three because they have two X factors. Yeah, I can see why that's a good line. That third line is really good. Brendan Saad and Barbashev. Fourth line's not great, but they have they have eight players there that are all mid eighties and four five X Factor players. Defensively, Tori Krug and Pareko, maybe a plus one, plus three. Falk and Letty scan yeah, they have a really deep team. They do. Bennington in the net. Uh, yeah, eighty five overall goaltender can certainly get it done. Uh, it's more the team on front of the goalie at this point. So I, it makes sense why they're in the playoffs. And then the Pittsburgh Penguins. Yeah, Crosby is still 93. It's year number one. And with Gensel, that's probably a plus five. Malkin is still a 90. Carter and Russ, maybe a plus one. I don't know with one X factor. Don't know what that would, that would, might be zero. Bluger, Heinen, and Kapanen. Eh, not bad, not great. Zucker, yeah, they got some depth on this team. Dumlin and Latang, maybe a plus one. Petrie and Ty Smith. Yeah, they have depth. Both teams have depths. And then Tristan Jerry, 928 save percentage. Yeah. So this is actually this is actually pretty even. You know, I'd say St. Louis has the better team, but um, uh, Pittsburgh has the stars. Like Crosby at 93 and Malkin at 90. That might be the difference maker. So take your picks, boys. St. Louis versus Pittsburgh. Let's see who's going to win in 2023. Pittsburgh goes up one to nothing. Ties it up at one, though. Do the St. Louis Blues. The Blues take a 2-1 series lead. 2-2. All right, so we have a real good cup final here. It keeps on going back and forth. Best of three. Game five goes to St. Louis. The St. Louis Blues have the chance to win their second Stanley Cup in, what, four years? Five years? Four years or five years? That's real good for them. Game number six goes to St. Louis, and the Blues have done it again. They win their second Stanley Cup in less than five years. They're putting together themselves a little dynasty. If they can get another one in the next three, three in like ten years, that's looking really good. Congratulations to the St. Louis Blues. They are your Stanley Cup champions for 2022-2023. Way to go, boys. Way to go. All right, so now I'm just going to simulate to the draft. Uh, the St. Louis Blues have won the Stanley Cup. The Calder champions, the Charlotte Checkers. Uh, new salary cap for the upcoming season. They don't care about the NHL lottery. Uh, the Buffalo Sabres, though, they keep the first overall pick. Chicago gets number two. Montreal gets number three. Islanders, number four. Minnesota, number five. Chicago, Vegas, San Jose, Edmonton. Rangers from Dallas. All right, so we made the playoffs, so we didn't have any. Uh, yeah, nobody moved. We didn't have any, what's it called, any draft lottery picks. But the Buffalo Sabres, they're going to be good, man. They're going to be good. So Connor Bedard to the Buffalo Sabres. Damn. With Rasmus Dahlin, Tage Thompson, they're going to have a good team. Few retired players, all right. The Shea Weber call it quits. No! <laughs> the ace in the hole is gone. Shea Weber, my boy, is gone. At least, listen, Nashville Predator fans, the ones listening to me right now, as your general manager, I delivered. I gave you one more home game in the playoffs with Shea Weber, and he had two points in that horrible overtime loss. But at least you got to see him one more time. You got to see him one more time. Kessler, uh, Nielsen, Seabrook, all right, all these guys, a lot of contracts just going away. Uh, goaltenders, Carey, Carey Price. The great Carey Price is retiring. He will no longer be a member of the Montreal Canadiens. Two big-time Canadian legends in Carey Price and Shea Weber. Gonzo Alonzo from the NHL. Retire number six? Yeah, I might have to. Yo, can I, can I, get, Nat, can I get him as a, uh, a coach? Coach retirement. I, will Shea Weber become a... The following retired players are now a scout. Carey Price is a scout. <sighs> Brent Seabrook is a scout. Matt Irwin. What about like players that are coaches? Uh, I don't care about that. I don't want to do drafts anyone. Shea Weber might be a head coach. We might have to take a look at that. So let me just save this again. Check the awards. Yeah, don't worry. I'm going to do all that, boys. Don't worry. Let me just do this first. Let me just make two save files just so I don't accidentally save over one. Create new file. There you go. All right, so we will uh, we're gonna we're gonna leave it here. But before we do, we'll go through and comb through all the stats and figure out what our next move is. I, I'm broken inside, man. I am broken inside, but we got to deal with it. Yeah, look at that. The St. Louis Blues, their second Stanley Cup in five years. That's really good. So 2019, the Blues, then Tampa, Tampa. Tampa could have won it three years in a row. Colorado in there. The Blues, man, yeah, they've just given themselves a chance at a dynasty. If they get one more in like three, four years, yep, that's it. 
Uh, what do we got? Florida Panthers with the President's Trophy. St. Louis and Pittsburgh. Man, Florida almost had a real good year. Art Ross goes to William Nylander. Sorry, McDavid. Hart Memorial goes to Mitch Marner. <laughs> James Norris goes to Adam Fox. Lady Bing goes to William Nylander. Leafs taking things home. Shane Wright gets the Calder. Con Smythe goes to Vladimir Tarasenko. There you go, Tarasenko. Uh, Vesna Trophy goes to Freddie Anderson. All these Leafs, all these former Leafs. William M. Jennings goes to Sergei Bobrovsky. Ben Trott wins, wins the Bill Masterton. Uh, Cracknell, Jack Adams, and the Stanley Cup. That's beautiful. Frank J. Selke goes to Anze Kopitar. Ted Lindsay goes to Mitch Marner. Maurice Richard goes to Ovechkin. And there you go. Back to the Art Ross. <laughs> the Leafs just all over the place. That's crazy. All right, ladies and gents, so here we are. So the first thing we can take a look at is our contract situation and see if anyone grew. All right, so UC Soros, was he an 89? He dropped down to an 88, so our goaltending is only going to get worse. What about in the system? Askarov jumped up to a 69 overall. All right, so we're slowly growing him. But uh, remember, we don't really need a good goalie anyways. I mean, Bennington was only 85. We need a deep team. I need players. I don't need goaltenders. Uh, main roster defenseman Roman Yossi still a 94 or did he jump to 94 was he 93 and he jumped to 94 damn all right so Roman Yossi got better after one of the worst plays in overtime in history so we got one more year with Roman Yossi at 94 he went up all right so that's good Ekholm top four defenseman still Ryan McDonough top four 85 85 83 carrier 81 so none of none of them drop or a wiki what about, uh, we don't have any prospect defensemen. Yeah. Okay, so you see what I mean about the two-year window? We can try it again. And I know it sucks that way that we lost, but we have free agency. So maybe I can upgrade some players, you know. I'll have some cap space. Maybe I can get rid of Sissons and maybe uh, Nino Nita Rider. I don't know. Tomasino still has his medium elite up to 84. Phil Kessel, top six. <laughs> Phil, I don't know if I want to re-sign Phil, though, man. I don't know. He's going to drop to a top nine next year. Nino Niederreiter, that might be somebody that we can upgrade because he's only got one year left. Colton Sissons, we can definitely part ways with. I know he's been here for a while, and I know he's a Nashville Predator. But we also have to make room for Kemmel, uh, who is more than likely going to be NHL ready for next season. In the, in the minors, uh, no, nothing there. Uh, main roster, left wing. Forsberg, 89. I mean, I wish he was a little bit better. He didn't really show up for us in the playoffs. Tolvanen, same thing. Janot, we can bring back if we want. Uh, in the system, Jankowski, Sanford. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, good, good, good. Centers, Matt Duchesne. Did he go up to an 87 or was he an 87 before? I can't remember. Granny Smith, 85. Ryan Johansson, 85. Boone Jenner, 83. See what I mean about Boone Jenner? So he went from an 84 down to an 83. Can definitely keep him for one more year and trade him if he drops to an 82 again. So that's still fine. Trennan we can hold on to. And in the system, yeah, we really don't have much, do we? We don't have many prospects coming up. All right, so no one really dropped down, so we should be able to continue on our uh, on our path to getting better. Um, we're going to have, when's our draft pick? I don't even know. Uh, draft board? How can I take a look at my pick? Projected picks. There you go, the Nashville Predators. So we have the 21st overall pick. All right, and then, and then the, what is that? The 51st? The 21st and the 51st overall pick. So what is available? I assigned my scouts three times. Uh, we remembered to do that. Uh, do it in uh, the beginning of this video. View the draft class, all right? Connor Bedard is going to Buffalo. Damn. Patrick Kane ready to go. He's got wheels. Damn, dude. That's going to be nice. Trade draft up. <laughs> Trade Roman Yossi for the first overall pick. No, I'm not going to do that. Michael Renz. Uh, Kirill Kozhevnikov. 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 Kirill Kozhevnikov. Man, jeez. Look at all these these European players here. Kovalev. Yeah, we got a European influence in the top five. So if I got myself the 21st overall pick, let's go down there to top 20, see what we got. What do you guys think? Uh, hi, Dr uh, Dragovich. Here we go. George Hecht. He says he's got an X factor. Medium top six power forward. What can I shut down? So he's got a gold X factor. Maybe. Maybe he's got the old X factor. I don't know. That could be good, because we definitely want X-Factor players. Uh, another sniper, Huxley. He, he's a sniper, but he doesn't have an X-Factor. If I could find guys with X-Factor. Here we go. Yarvanti, uh, top six. He's got three silver ones, but it looks like it's four-star. So this guy definitely has some X-Factors. And yeah, we definitely have some, uh, some uh, players available to us. So I'll just go down the list. You guys can pause it and tell me what you think. X-Factor on this guy, Lundqvist. 
no contest. I have to, I'll have to go through them yeah, individually to see if I can find one that's really good. And then 51 was our other one, right? So then our second pick would be somewhere around here. Uh, let's see. Any X-Factors that are this deep into the draft? I did my best to try to uncover Price. Caden Price. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Seeing Eye. Ooh, but it's only two. It might be something. I don't know. And then there's some more players down here like Hickey. He's got an X-Factor. Close quarters and silver send it. That could be Cody Hickey could be really good as a right defenseman, medium top six offensive defenseman. But it looks like he's got he's got X factors. That could be an interesting one. That could be like a depth X factor player. I don't even know. And is there any goalies available? The first goalie that's available is number seventy seven overall. So yeah, that's a little bit too far away. So unfortunately, Nashville, I couldn't get you guys even past the first round. The acquisitions of Boone Jenner and Phil Kessel were not enough, even though Kessel played well. And we should have gotten to at least game six. That game five overtime, I mean, that is such a collapse. Nine minutes of power plays and we give up a shorthanded goal. I mean, it's GM superb, man. Either I create something special or I, or I choke the whole series away. So... I'll figure out what I can do. I'll do some pre-scouting. I'll talk with the Twitch chats. I'll, I'll go through all the comments. You guys comment away on anything and everything. But maybe the plan has changed. If you guys think that there's no point in coming back for year two with the window, I could trade everyone right now. So it's up to you guys, all right? I'm, I'm still disgusted and shocked. I don't know what to do. So let me know what you guys think, Nashville. And I will see you in the next one.